Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Donnell. I got an order from Maniology that I bought. I don't even remember everything I ordered. So I had to dump it out of the bag because it wouldn't even fit up here. So we're going to go ahead and just open things up together. Oh, life won't shine unless you do. Look at these stickers. I love it. And I love when I get a new one that's not a duplicate. Very cute. Let's see what else I have. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, this is high voltage P137. I don't really have many neon, so that's why I got this one. And again, this is just your traditional nail nail lacquer polish. But ooh, this, it's definitely neon, like safety, safety yellow. So that's cool. And then I also try not to stab myself with scissors. This is just a um. Another stamper. Not that I need any more stampers, but I just really wanted this one. So it's been out for a long time and I've I've always looked at it. I was like, oh, I don't need to buy more. But I finally decided to get it. Plus it's um it's very summery and I just I don't know, I just wanted it. So it's the glitter dome monocle stamper. So it has the the glitter in it and then of course it has like this summer ice cream and everything on it I really like that and then it comes with a scraper and the seasonal scrapers these ones tend to be a little bit um, I prefer the different ones to the rather the one that the basic one is kind of flimsy and thinner and more flexible and these are stiffer and I just I prefer the stiffer scrapers. So is that little cutie? And then let's go ahead and see. Oh what's that? Oh I ordered a new uh the angled brush and I use these for cleanup. It's called the Angle Precision Brush. And I had one before, but I don't know what happened to it. And now I have the regular cleanup brush, but it's straight. And I, I really like the angled one because when you're cleaning up around your free edge, you can really get in there with the angled brush. So. I don't know what happened to my old one. So I have that. And then let's check. Actually, let's do those everywhere. It's so shiny. Let's do some plates. So this is plate uh, four three four. And this is a collaboration that they did with Sip and Dip on YouTube. Her name is Chelsea, and she's just very down to earth. She was one of the first people that I followed for doing dip powder. And I, I just really like her. So as soon as I seen they came out with a collaboration, I knew I was going to have to get it. That light is really glaring, so I'm going to move it out the way for a minute. A lot of different little images that can be used for lots of different things. I'm excited to try out some of these like little Frenchies and stuff. And then I, I oh I'm gonna say this for every plate. So as soon as I seen this one, I knew I was gonna be ordering it too. This is for 
M480 and it's called Evil Eye. And you guessed it, it has a bunch of evil eyes on it. Among other things. And like usual, getting that blue film off is always hard. So just some different shapes, the evil eye and then the different like evil eyes and stuff over here and then some spots and things. You can do a lot of different things with this than just evil eye. And the next one, and the last one for this order, huh, is M485 and it's, um, I think it's called Wild French maybe, I'll look at the paper in a second, but it's all French. Frenchies, and it's all animal print. They're super fun with all the different animal prints. I think it'll be fun to play with. And then you also get like the the strip of them, which will be cool. Can never have too much animal print. I don't think animal print or Frenchies ever are not on trend. So yeah, it's called Wild French. I just wanted to verify that. All right, so I got two polish sets. And... Oh yeah, this is the nat natural, I think. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get it off the box. And I got this because when I was doing um, some tips the other day playing. I don't have a lot of um, like browns and uh, colors that can be used for like skin tones or animal fur. Like I either have really darks or really lights. You know what? I can can I get these things out. I always struggle with this. Ooh. So this is Boba, which I do have, B330, and I'll smush them, okay, pushing them through the bottom is the way to go. I always start off pushing them the wrong way. So I just wanted um, to have more variety, and I was going through and checking out individual ones and I was like you know what I seen that they had this set so I decided just to pick this up all right so again it comes with Coco B351 and I'll go ahead and throw these on some some swatches while we talk through it oh mm, that's a nice brown nice chocolate brown yeah some of the browns I have um, they're like super dark so they're not great for some things or they're like really light but that's a really good chocolate brown and then we have Sequoia B299 Boba B330. And again, I already have Boba, but it's super versatile. It's, it, I don't know, I would consider it almost like a purple leaning brownish kind of color. I don't know, when I see it, it's kind of a, it's like brown, but like purple like a purple hue to it. And Skin Deep B325. And 
this is one I really want on. Nice neutral. And we have Latte B331. I see this one used um, often in other people's videos. I guess that's why it's called latte, because it's like coffee with a lot of creamer. That's a nice, really nice tone. And then this last one is Ballet Fat. A little ballet flat B231, and it's kind of like ballet flats, it's a pinkish undertones, I guess you would say, because it's not, it's not really pink. This one is called Schools Out, and this might be some neons, maybe. Oh, yeah. Because, like I said, I don't have any neon stamping polish. Ooh. Yeah, that would be right. like I'm out of some of those clear round tips. I don't like these tips, so I'm trying to use them. All right, so first we have Pencils Down B286. And I've been slowly adding yellows to my collection because up until recently I had pretty much none. So, so this is a good, I wouldn't call it a neon yellow like this one. Like this is a neon, like that's why it's called, I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second coat real quick. So two things, I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but one, it is storming here in Southwest Florida. So there's a lot of rain and I can hear it on my roof. So that's the second swatch of high voltage. It is so bright. Um, and also <laughs> I can hear my husband. He's, he's in his office, but he's on, he's on a call and he's loud. So here's pencils down. And this one is Blue Glue B288. I love the names of these. I like that the collection is called Schools Out and then you have all of these fun neon summer like theme names to go with the colors. do one on one of these clear tips. Oh, sorry, this one is Food Fight B287. Mm.
I am not a huge green person, but I love this neon green. All right, sorry, this, I, yeah, Food Fight B287. I like that one. And then this one is Class Clown B289. And there's two pinks, so one looks, I would say maybe this would just be like a hot pink, and the other one looks like it's going to be like, I don't know, this is super neon. I thought maybe the other one would be the brighter one, but I guess we'll see in a second. Oh, gorgeous. I love that. That's a nice pink. Yeah, these, those, these white round tips, um, I mean, they're just plastic, um, but like the rest of them, but for whatever reason, no polish, like just goes on them smoothly. It, This is a really good orange too. I'm so, I keep forgetting to say the name. I'm too excited to get these swatched. This is Summer Fun B291. And then this one is Slam Book B290. Let's see what this one looks like. Compare these two. They're they're different. They're definitely slightly different. Oops, didn't mean to do that. But not a huge. It's, these two are very similar. The um the class clown, which is this one, is maybe. I don't know, a more a little bit of a purplish pink, and this one isn't. I don't know. But I'm gonna get rid of these two. Um, I'm gonna put them on this much. Yeah, for a um, for a you know schools out for like the yellow pencil whatever it's called pencils down yeah yeah that's like the color of a pencil and then I'll redo the the blue one as well. the blue one blue blue mm. these are nice yeah I really like these colors I know I would I love all the many allergies colors. So, School's Out collection. Ugh, seriously? So, the French tips, they have, um, you know, the thinner ones and then some of the thicker ones and then different sizes and stuff for the different nails. So I'm just gonna pick one. And this one is 
scraper in my new jelly dome. And hmm, I don't think that would look good over a um, pointed tip. Uh -oh. oh, I forgot to press that down. So the mom, oh my goodness. When you get a monocle stamper, you have to, I think, but the, yeah, you put it, so this was on the bottom. They fall out, so you pop it in the top and then put your stamper head back on. Like that. Okay. All right. Let's try again. to get off some of that excess. I didn't get the whole thing, but we're gonna go with it anyway. And I don't have a sticky base coat on, so it's not sticking perfectly. But you can see how that gives you the general outline, and then you can go in and kind of zhuzh it up if you like. Let's just put it on my reel now. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Shoot, I can't see what I'm doing. Put it down like this. See? It's a little off. So let's do the little example here. Let's do this. So just for funsies. That's So I painted a nail in Slam Book B290. And we're going to give that a second to dry. Look how gorgeous that is. It's so pretty. And yes, I know I'm just putting it over my current top coat because it's not going to stay on. So what should we do? <coughs> Let's see. So maybe this one. <laughs> there we go. If you have watched any of my videos recently, you will know I cannot not mess up my nails when I'm stamping. Actually, unless it's a gel, I cannot do my nails. without smudging and having to do touch-ups. This is just a constant. All right, and then we take it. Now 
wait to clean that up in a second, but really nice pink. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. And I'm just using straight up black just to, um, make it pop on that pink. Gotta give that an extra second to dry. And so while I'm doing that, I am going to maybe or maybe not grab some acetone. Don't see my regular polish remover. I'm just pouring a dab of acetone in this little dish to using one of these like little pointy cotton swab things my door wasn't clean but it's okay it's okay it's just nails and so i say it's okay a lot when i'm messing up because really it's just nails it's not the end of the world. It's never the end of the world. It's just an house. So I think that's dry enough. I am going to um, just really lightly do a thin layer of sticky base. It's Manny Allergy Sticky Base Coat B384, and that is how um, you transfer the image from this to get this image from the stamper to stick on your nail. So if I would have like maybe painted my nail with a gel polish, after you cure it, there's an inhibition layer, so it remains sticky. So you can stamp on top of that without a sticky base, but otherwise, on top of something that's like dry, you need something sticky for this to attach to and transfer. And I wanted to point that out because sometimes I don't say that in my videos. And um, my my mom actually watched one of my videos and she's like, how do you get it off the, the stamper onto your nail? So I was explaining that to her and I realized I don't, I, I don't know if I've ever, I mean, I say you gotta use sticky base coat, but I don't know if I ever explained it in those terms. And so sticky base coat does need to dry not fully dry because you want it to still be tacky, but it does need to dry some. So we'll give that just a second. Or more like 30 seconds, I should say. I'm really excited about this collection. I can't wait to um, do more, do more with it. I could just paint over these. All right, I think that's probably long enough. So I'm trying to find a good angle to do this. See if I can zoom in. And then just gonna line it up. Oh, wait, you can't see that. Line it up the best I can. And then go down and I just kind of bounce it a little bit and then lift up. And there we go. Oops. Okay, so my sticky base coat was not quite dry enough. So I did smudge a little. And it's not quite centered. It's it's a little wonky, but you get the idea.
Okay. So I just did a blue one. And I'm going to switch to the sip and dip plate and maybe do. Hmm. So many choices. Which one? I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to play. I don't want to do one that's um, really needs to be reverse stamped. So these all kind of are reverse stamped, I guess. Well, they don't have to be, but when I'm looking at them, they look like they should be. So uh, what I was looking at, the reason I'm doing that, and this may not work because, you know, sizes. I don't think I'm going to get a good pickup. Okay, so. Um, all right, I got it. So what I was doing instead of using it as a French, I was thinking about of using it thinking about using it as like an arch up here at the cuticle line. I thought that would be super cute. Oh yeah, that is cute. Again, I'm off centered. <laughs> oh. That's hard. That's like really hard for me to be centered. Um, let's see. Oh, this is bright. Stamping polish dries so fast, it can be really hard to um, to just paint with. <coughs> Shoo, let's see, what else are we going to do? Hmm, <laughs> what shall we do, what shall we do? I could do the evil eye plate too, but... I don't want it to just be over the orange, so I'm not. Let's see if we can. Let's go back to the wild French. I think I'm going to do one of the leopard prints. And it's both beautiful pickups. Okay, so how do I do this on camera with my own finger where you can see it and I'm not messing it up and I'm getting it even? Does that look centered to you guys? I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah. No, oh, nope, messed over there. But look at that. That's so cute. All right, I'm not I'm I'm like O for 3 on centering the images on my now. Uh I thought that one was really good too. I don't I don't get it. I'm like ugh. But those are so cute. I really like them. I hope you enjoyed this maniology nail haul.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider hitting the like button, subscribe, and drop me a comment below. Bye.